This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Don't let anyone rent space in your head unless they are a good tenant. Hello, welcome to Choose to Rise. I'm so glad you are here with me today because I've got a good one for you. I am just, this is like just completely on my heart today and I just have to share it with you. This quote today, don't let anyone rent space in your head unless they are a good tenant, speaks volumes to me right now. Why? Because there are people in my life that sometimes are just energy vampires. And I've also gotten the question a lot lately, Kim, you look so happy in your social media lately. And yeah, I am super happy lately because I am really getting good at protecting my vibe, really getting good at protecting my energy and only plugging into the things that fill my cup. And today I want to help you feel the same way because that 1000% is what we are about here on Choose to Rise. It's helping people rise up out of their current situation and live their best life. Even if their current situation is pretty good, I want to help them be their absolute best. And how do you do that? You plug in and you get connected and you learn and you grow. And I want to share 10 little things with you today that can help you protect your energy, protect your vibe, and help you just be your absolute best self. The first thing you need to do is let go of the things you can't control right? There are lots of things in this world that are not yours, right? If we think about like a big circle in front of you and you have a big circle and then these are all the things that happen in life, right? All the things that are happening around you and to you and, and to people around you and the things people say and the things people think and all of the things that are happening in the world, right? And then inside that is a small circle and that small circle is you. And those are the things that you can control. And when you let go of all the things that you can't control and just focus in on the things that you can control, your thoughts, your words, your responses, and how you just show up in life, those are the things that you can control. And when you focus just on those things, you're going to have way more joy, you're going to have way more energy, and you're going to feel just so empowered. Because When you can focus on just what you control and you really think about responsibility, response ability, your ability to respond to situations in life, and you let go of all the things that you can't control, your life is just going to improve rapidly. All right. So number one, let go of the things you can't control Two, avoid comparing yourself to other people. Now you've heard me say this a million times before, right? Avoiding, avoid comparing yourself to other people. Comparison is the kill of all joy because you're not in control of their space. You're not in charge of their destiny. You're not supposed to be just like her, just like him, just like them, right? You were created as a perfect individual by God for a perfect path for you and you only. So avoid comparing yourself to other people because their business is none of your business and your business is none of their business. Number three, keep your faith larger than your fears. Keep your faith larger than your fears. You have to stay connected to your maker. You have to stay connected to your inner power. You have to stay connected to the one that made you. There is an evil spirit that run around this earth and his name is the devil. And he is constantly going to tell you that you're not worthy. He's going to constantly tell you that your dreams are too big. He's constantly going to tell you that there are things that in life that you don't deserve, but that is not true because you were created in the image of God and a positive person and a perfect plan and gift gifts given to you to live out your best life. And when you can keep your faith in that, get into the good scripture, find people that surround yourself that are going to empower you and encourage you. Make sure that you are connecting with him, getting into meditation and just connecting to your spirits. Those are the things that are going to help you have your faith larger than your fear. And when you, fear is always going to be there. It's always going to be a part of your life. But when you can just let it sit beside you in life and not run the show, things will get so much better. There are four, don't do anything that doesn't feel right. Now, this one is sometimes not always, it doesn't always feel like it's under our control, right? There's things that at a job or there's things that we're doing um, in a part of a group that some things are just you have to do sometimes, but you really don't. It's about your response. Don't do anything that doesn't feel right. 
when I have my morals and I have my values and I have the things that, that are driving my direction in life and what is I really hold true to myself and to my personal journey, I don't have to do the things that don't feel right. If you're in a job or you're in a situation, a relationship, a family situation of some kind, or just any situation in whatsoever, and you're constantly doing things, you're being asked to do things that don't feel right with your soul, find another connection, get a different job, do something else, go away from the things that don't feel right in your core. Number five, don't be afraid to spend time alone. This one is actually music to my ears because I'm actually kind of an introvert. <laughs> I would rather work alone, be alone, do things alone, but I also love pouring into other people. I also love getting energy from other people and being surrounded by other people, but then I have to come back to myself and recharge my batteries. For a long time, I did not understand that. I thought I had to be out and serve and be out and be out and be out and all the things, but but when I finally really recognize this part of myself where I find the most joy is in my own little bubble, working hard, working away, working on things for other people, but not always with other people. It's, some, it's sometimes the best thing ever that I can just, which I think is the dream job that I'm in right now. I get to serve other people so much. I get to encourage people. I get to work with people the people that I want to work with on my own time, doing my own thing, but I also get to do it from the comfort of my own home and my own rules and my own situation and my own clothes, whatever I want to wear, makeup or no makeup. And I get to do the things that feel good to my soul. I get to do the things on my own schedule and how I want them to be. Find a job like that, something that fills your buckets, how you want to be able to live your life. Number six, avoid gossip and bashing others. That gossip and that bashing of other people is really only just putting energy out into the world that that's what you don't want in your life. Okay. So like if you're saying, you know, like you're judging someone, judgment is a form of resistance to the universe. Okay. So if you're like saying, oh, that girl, she's got so much money. Or like she's always flaunting it. Like if you're going to say stuff like that, you're automatically telling the universe, ooh, money's bad. I don't want it. Or if you're talking negatively about somebody and their relationship and their true love, and you don't really know anything about the relationship, you're just jealous, or you have something that bad to say, avoiding gossip and bashing others. Because when you do those things, you are cutting off your ties to what you actually might want in the universe, whether it be love in a relationship or money or a good job or a great community of support, whatever it might be. If you're gossiping and bashing other people, you're putting a, a halt on the, those positive things happening in your life. Number seven, speak kindly to yourself and to other people. Now you are the one conversation that you're going to have the most with is yourself, right? We've talked about this lots of times here on Choose to Rise, but I want to remind you again, you are your worst critic, but you are also your best friend. You need to be more of your best friend than you are your worst critic. Speak kindly to yourself. Use positive affirmations. I use this all the time on my social media. My kids every day use positive affirmations on their way to school. Um, we, it's just a part of our life. You speak kindly to yourself. You speak kindly to other people and life just is better. You feel better about it. It just is a good thing. Number eight, please yourself before trying to please others. Now this one is kind of controversial in a lot of ways, but I will I will put my foot down on this one and say it is a must. You must make sure that you're taking care of yourself before you try to, to pour into other people. The empty cup cannot pour anything into the next one next to it, right? You have to be able to take care of yourself. You have to be able to please yourself and walk your own path and give energy to your own mission and your own purpose in life before you can start giving to other people. I get super filled up by taking care of me and helping other people and all of those things, working on my own business first. And then I have so much accomplishment, accomplishment in my heart, so much energy, so much passion, so much joy in my heart that I got to do the things that make me light up, that then I can go do all the things for the other people. But you can't go serve other people the best way possible if you're not taking care of yourself first. So speak kindly to yourself, take care of yourself before trying to please others. Number nine, stay away from people who drain your energy. Yes, those energy vampires. And one of the things that completely motivated me to do this, this podcast today, there are just some people in life that want to talk about the negative things with you, want to bring up the drama, want to bring up all the things that are going wrong in the world. I try really hard to keep myself out of a lot, of a lot of drama. There are some negative things that are happening in our community right now. And I'm a part of a committee that's kind of in the limelight of this negativity. And I just 
try to back myself completely out of it and don't talk about the negative things all the time. I try not to talk about the negative things at all. I show up, I do my job and I move on. And I try to be the light when I show up to these things. I don't want to talk about people's drama. I don't want to talk about the negative things going on because what you think about and you focus on, you create more of. So why focus on the negative? (laughs) Are you just wanting more negative things to show up? I don't. I don't. And then number 10 is ignore any opinions that don't enhance your life. And a great quote by uh, Laura Auden Gassner, who was a previous guest on our episode. Um, you should head back a couple weeks. Um, her what a, a amazing uh, quote from her book, Limitless, as she says, stop giving votes to people that shouldn't even have a voice. And so ignore the opinions that don't enhance your life. Right here, the book Limitless, you should check it out. Um, her the, I love that quote in there. You should stop giving votes to the people that shouldn't even have a voice. If they are not going in the direction that you're going, if they are not headed towards the place that you want to head, if they've not achieved the things that you want to achieve, their opinions do not matter. You only want to surround yourself with people that are uplifting. You only want to surround yourself with people that say, yes, you can. And how can I help you get there? And not so much with the people that are saying, oh, well, that's nice. Because what are those people doing? Those people are bringing more negativity into their life and you're trying to get away from that. You want to live a bigger life. You want to rise up and live your best life. You want to be encouraged and supported and move forward in life, right? So ignore the opinions of the people that don't enhance your life. Don't give votes to people that shouldn't even have a voice. Stay away from people who drain your energy, like the people that are going to tell you bad things. Stay away from people who drain you stay, keep, be nice to yourself, please yourself, others before you're pleasing other, please yourself before pleasing others, speak kindly to yourself, avoid gossip and bashing others. Be, don't be afraid to spend time alone and regenerize and really focus in on you. Be, um, don't be, do anything that doesn't feel right. Keep your faith larger than your fears. Avoid comparing yourself to other people. Let go of things you cannot control. And you will definitely be protecting your vibe from all of the things that are happening around you. I just can't say these things enough. Like when you are really, um, really focusing in on the things that you can control, the things that you want to have happen in life, and you are connecting to the energy and connecting to the purpose and the plan that God has made for you, you will definitely not let anyone rent the space in your head unless they're a good tenant. And I hope today that one of the things that I've shared with you today speaks to you and you're encouraged and you're supported and that you come back here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for some more amazing content like this. Just things that, oh, like my energy is like through the roof right now. I'm so excited to share these things with you. And And this is exactly the kind of life I want to be living. Energize, encourage, support it. And if you want those kinds of things too, come join me in my community. My team of women are just rocking the socks off right now with healthy habits, healthy mindsets, healthy eating, healthy moving their body, loving life, encouraging and supporting each other. We would love to have you a part of the team. We would love to have you a part of our um, community and just rising up and living our best life. So if that sounds like something like you'd want in on, uh, head over to chooseriseup.com, click on work with me or just shoot me an email at chooseriseup at gmail.com. And I would love to work with you and talk with you about how you'd be a good fit for our team and how we might be a good fit for you. All right, guys, please share this episode. Let other people know about Choose to Rise, you know, comment below, um, share this with other people on your social media and, you know, go leave a rating and review on Apple podcasts because that helps more people find us. And if you feel so called um, to help support the show in any sort of way, either you have a sponsor or you want to be a sponsor of the show, um, I would love for that to happen as well so we can get the word out to more people. All right, guys, have a great day and I will see you back here again next time.